familia, aquí estamos y seguridad como siempre. Sí, sí. Vamos a poner de este cool. lado porque tenemos un, un piloto profesional. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm Gary Klein. I'm actually the lead chassis engineer for this oh, vehicle. Thank you. Larry. Larry? Amelia. Amelia. And you, Gary? Gary. Gary. Yep. Okay. Javier. Javier. Muy and cool. Gustavo. And he's Gustavo. Gustavo. Hey, Good morning. morning. Like. No, no problem. <laughs> okay. So we have both these cameras working as well as your own, and then if you want to use that, um, let me know if there's anything you want. I can run you through the course with our typical drill, and if you want, we can so you know, we like, can do a couple of runs if you yeah, want to. Just tell us a little bit about exactly what we're doing in terms of uh, what we're going to experience with the car. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, you're in the the new ZR2 Colorado which is the extreme off-road version based on our mid-sized truck. So what we have here is we have an obstacle course set up here in LA. We're going to demonstrate some of the capability of the truck. And when we talk capability, um, let me explain two things. When you say off-road, it was really interesting. When I came to this program, I admit, I was, I was a, a more of a car guy. I never did off-roading yeah. before. But you ask people off-road. It was funny. If you asked five people, I got five different answers. Oh, hey, I like to go to Moab for the weekend and go rock crawling. Oh, I like to go out to the sand dunes and go bombing over the dunes. Oh, I like to go mud bogging. Oh, I like to do this. I like to yeah. do that. Or some people just go over the road, oh, yeah. literally over the road on the side of the road. Exactly. And so it was really interesting. Early on when we were scoping this vehicle, we said, so we're doing off-road. What are we doing? And the answer was simple. Everything. It says off-road. Yeah. If everyone defines it off-road, we're not going to say we're going to fragment and only please the person that wants to do high mm -hmm. speed or please only the person who wants to do low speed rock crawling. It's an off-road truck. Let's make it do everything. Okay. Well, let's go and see. But I have a question. Sure. What happens if I don't like off-road? Well, that's a really good question, actually. I'm really glad you asked that. Soon. Pero tengo una pregunta, Javier. ¿Qué pasa si a mí no me gusta ese off-road? Bueno, ese, eh, aquí el experto nos va a explicar por qué es tan avanzada esta camioneta, porque tiene unos sistemas uh -huh. que yo creo que va a hacer que te guste el off-road. Es que es mucha chocolateada, me muevo <laughs> mucho. Okay, I don't even need a translation. <laughs> what you were saying. So, so it's an excellent question. I'm glad you asked that. So, one of the keys to the ZR2, I'll say, one of the um, um, really feature technologies is the uh, shock absorbers we put on. I call them dampers because I'm a technical guy in this mm -hmm. kind of term, but we all know what shocks are, right? Uh -huh. And so, uh, rather than just look and what what was convention in the marketplace because um, we drove the competitive vehicles that had the technology so wow it's great off-road but just like you the mm. the bouncing the jiggling the shaking I'm driving to work and I'm uncomfortable and so you have a truck that it's maybe great on the weekend but now Monday going to work you're not very happy you're uncomfortable your coffee spilling all yeah. over the center console you know all these things so the problem was if you looked at the state of the industry of what all the other trucks had that was the result you had a bandwidth that was only so wide and I can take that bandwidth, I can make a comfortable on-road truck, but a not so no good off-road truck. I can make a good off-road truck, but not mm -hmm. so good on-road truck. Okay. So we worked with Multimatic, and we basically took technology that comes from Formula One. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you have and, both that now. The best and adapted it, and we have this bandwidth now that it gives us excellent off-road performance, both high speed and low speed, and really good on-road manners. The truck's actually really comfortable to drive. In fact, after off-roading all day, we would all get in the truck and you know just very easily one hand on the wheel driving comfortable no shakes no jitters hmm. no oh i need to stop and get out because my back hurts vamos a ver vamos okay. a ver Let's vamos go. a probar right. hmm. vamos a ver si es verdad así amelia lo que te decía este auto tiene tecnología de fórmula 1 y te permite hacer cosas muy extremas como vamos a hacer ahora mismo uh -huh. pero a la misma vez ir el lunes en la mañana de tu casa a la oficina o al colegio a donde quieras ir como un auto normal así que lo mejor de dos mundos en esta o sea que es para todo terreno todo absolutamente todo terreno y cuando decimos todo es todo ya vas a ver all right so we're gonna head down the first part of the track here mm -hmm. and this will give you an idea we're actually gonna hit some pretty large events see sí. and you you will feel them but what you'll notice is you don't feel a lot of shaking a lot of bouncing and they actually will feel very comfortable very cushy even though it's a very large event okay. I'm going to mm -hmm. hit Entonces, Javier, esta va a ser la primera, la prueba de obstáculos. Obstáculos, mm. y aquí vas a ver la, a la comodidad o los extremos que puede hacer la suspensión mm -hmm. especial que tiene. Vámonos, pues. Ok, let's go. Vámonos. Vámonos. Ay, 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 pero vale gritar, ¿no? Ay, 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 ay. Sí, sí. Wow, esto está... ¿Estás bien? Sí, estoy bien. Ok, All right, so... Get a good grip on the camera because uh -huh. now, now we have a little bit more excitement here. Woo! 
<risa> oh, ¡Oh, my God! Pero se siente, sí, se siente que voy a volar, pero no exploto. O sea, es como Exacto. que me calma, ¿no? Esa, esa, esa es la tecnología. Ay, no me digas que, que ahora vamos a ir para allá. Ahora para arriba. Todo de mí para allá. Okay. You, you guys Mis okay? cabellos así. Yeah, we okay. Sí, pero ahora vamos a ir allá. We're going up there. Ahora esta columna, aquí, aquí se, se, se destacan varias tecnologías. Una mm -hmm. es que, por ejemplo, la camioneta tiene capacidad para subir prácticamente sola con la tecnología del vehículo y cuando bajemos hace lo mismo. This one has seal control descent? Yeah. It does, yep. Yeah. I'm actually um, not going to use it on this because I want to demonstrate uh, actually how easy the vehicle is to control without with using our four-wheel disc brakes okay. on this truck. Um, because uh, what you'll find is, yeah, we can let the truck do it and uh, you know it'll it'll do it fine on its own but um, why let the truck have all the fun what you'll see is that it's actually very easy for us to control on a very steep grade okay this the the steepest part we actually have two grades the steepest part is is a 30 degree grade okay. 30 degrees so you're gonna feel that so i'm gonna mm. go up we'll hit the first set of rollers uh -huh. you'll lose traction on the left front and the right rear oh i see okay so then i have to use the rear uh, electronic locking differential that mm. will move us up to the next set of rollers which are in an eight inch deep pocket by the way we'll lose traction so on three the, yeah. on three of the wheels and we're in a big hole so I will I only have traction on the right front wheel I'll lock the front yeah. and then we climb over the top si okay. se puede okay. si se puede se escucha medio complicado Espero yo que creo no que es mejor siente. verlo que explicarlo ¿no? Muy, mucha aventura sí, es mucho, esto mucho. vamos a experimentarlo ok estoy lista Vámonos. Vámonos. Sí se puede. Sí se que... puede. <risa> ay, ay, sí. acá no hay de dónde agarrarse. Yeah. Ay. Agárrate de la peluca, como dice. <risa> Trae tu peluca. So now I lock the rear. Uh -huh. We're going to go up to the second set. Now we're on a 30% grade. We're going to land into the next set of rollers here. Now I lock the front. And very easy, with only that right front wheel, I pull this out. Viste, ahí con una sola rueda estamos subiendo esta columna, esta colina, perdón. Y gracias a la tecnología eh, que permite tracción eh, en, la, en las cuatro ruedas y la ajusta cuando lo necesite. So now we enjoy the view from the top of Mount Colorado. Excellent. Downtown Los Angeles, palm trees, yeah. very nice. En una montaña en mitad de la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Qué increíble. So now we go down. Todo lo que sube, baja. Ay, vamos, Javier. Yeah. Una pendiente de 30 grados, que esto no lo encuentras en las calles, sin embargo, puedes ver cómo este vehículo puede hacer esta, este mm -hmm. obstáculo sí. sin ningún problema. Sí. And even though we have very large bumps and a steep slope, it's very easy to control by myself. ¿Él está frenando todo? No, la, la camioneta frena por sí sola. Tiene un sistema que cuando se da cuenta que está en una pendiente, eh, permite que eh, frene por sí sola. Ok. okay. So now mm. this obstacle is just to show the advantage of being a smaller mid-sized truck is that we can basically get into spaces that a larger truck can't so it's just a little little obstacle just to show you can maneuver between some trees very easily oh. use the agility of the vehicle right very easily then we come around here so es muy maniobrable como si fuera un carro pequeñito también no exacto es lo que te decía que mucha gente que en este segmento de camionetas compactas sí. quiere las dos cosas sí. tener un vehículo que pueda trabajar pero también lo que pueda manejar en la ciudad porque las pickups grandes en realidad a veces son eh, complicadas de manejar en ciudad y ahora so, so now this is to show the articulation of the vehicle right so we're going to put it in a very big twist event and what you feel is the vehicle actually complies very well with it in fact you probably won't even notice but we're going to be on two wheels on this balancing and uh, basically uh, um, besides the articulation what you'll see is the vehicle also has very good rigidity you won't hear creaking and cracking and groaning the truck uh, has a very good structure underneath specially reinforced for off-road use yeah Okay. Okay. Esto es como imitando qué, si estamos en un camino. Eh, imitando un camino que tiene superficies eh, con niveles diferentes. Entonces aquí la, el, la suspensión hace el trabajo y hay una gran articulación entre una rueda y otra. Una va muy alta y una va muy baja y siempre mantiene el vehículo en contacto con la carretera. Hmm. Vámonos. Vámonos. Two wheels and, and two wheels. As you can feel, 
Ahí si, la, si nos movemos la podemos llevar. I can do it some more if you like it. It's a fun yeah. little ride. Yeah? Sí, muy divertido, muy divertido. Yeah. But the vehicle is actually very stable. It absorbs the the twist. You don't hear it making a bunch of noise. And very easily we come back down. Tengo que reconocer que sí, Javier. Todo lo que hemos hecho ha sido ha sido muy intenso, pero a la vez controlado. Exacto. No me he golpeado. Exacto. Y eso es lo que te decía, que con la tecnología que tienen estas camionetas modernas, al final del día creo que saliste, entraste, que no te gustaban los road, pero ahora creo que sí te gusta. <risa> Yo pienso que es muy aventurero. Me gustó. <risa> And so that is our zero two thrill ride. Ah. It's like a carnival, yeah? Y esto también es para las mamás. <risa> This is all, all, is this for mamas too? For mamas too? Yeah. For yeah. mothers and like everybody. Absolutely. You can take your kids to school in this and go grocery shopping. Se van a ir bien divertidos haciéndolos todos. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not just for macho men, right? It's not just mochismo truck. It can be for a very beautiful woman as well. Oh. Buenísimo. Pues vamos a ver lo que sigue del auto show, Amelia. Claro que sí. Good.